Hi, Mrs. Garlock. Hello, Mrs. Nelson. How are you? Good. How are you? I am fine. Thank you. I'm so glad the sun is shining today. Oh, me too. I can see it shining right behind me and I'm just a little bit. It feels good. Yes, it does. Hey, Mrs. Garlock, would you like to play a game with me? I would love to. Do you have a game picked out for us? Yes, it's my favorite game. Oh, exciting. It is called, what is it called? it's called Zap. Z Zap. 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 You got it. Zap. Zap. Yeah, like Zap. And we're going to do it with our numbers. So we're going to practice our number writing. And then we're also going to write the word Zap. And then we're going to pick things and like try to see if we know the numbers. Oh, great. Mrs. Nelson, can you just tell me the supplies that I'm going to need so that I can play this game? Yes, of course. So you're going to need a piece of paper okay, and, then, have. and then also a marker or something to write okay. by. Okay, perfect. And then, um, and then you're I also going to need like a bowl or a bag. Okay. Oh, and I have also, a bag, so this should work. Yeah. Yep. And okay. also a scissors. And scissors. Okay, so I have all the stuff that I need. So okay. paper, yep. marker, scissors, and then a bowl or a bag. So four. Okay, things. perfect. I have all the stuff I need. Okay, excellent. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to write our numbers from zero to 10. Now, I know you are super good at this, Mrs. Garlock, so. Oh, I like to write my numbers. So I'm going to write it right on this paper here? Yes. Perfect. However, you're not going to write them really close together because we're going to cut between them. So oh. we're going to, um, we're not going to squish them together. So we're going to leave a finger space between them. Oh, okay. I can do that. Okay. All right. Okay. So the first number we're going to write is zero. So go okay. ahead and write a zero. Okay. Shoop. Okay. Zero. Yep. All right. Now you, we get to write the number one. I'm going to leave my it. finger space and then write the number one. Start at the top and slide right down. Okay. Makes the number one. All right. Leave your finger space and write the number two. Curve around and slide to the right. Awesome. Good work. Nice and job. then I didn't leave enough space. So I'm going to come under my zero, Mrs. Garlock. And I'm going to make... Can I still number. write mine over here, though, Miss? Is that okay if I write mine over there, Mrs. Nelson? Yes, you can. Mine okay. is just like a little bit too close together. So I'm going to write mine under the three. But you go ahead and write yours as well. Curve around... Oops, sorry. Around the tree, around the tree. Very good. Okay. okay. All right. Now we're going to make a four, the numeral four. So um, down, slide over, and down some more. There's my four. Okay, and a five. Down, around, put on a hat. Awesome. And then six. Curve around and curl it up. You're really good at these. Number seven. Thank you. Across the top and slide right down. Number eight. Make an S and close the gate. Number nine, make a circle, then a line. And number 10, make a one and make a zero. I like how you started at the top and pulled down for your numbers, Mrs. Garlock. Good job. Thank you. You did the same. You did a nice job too. Now my paper is full, so I'm going to use another paper, but you could go ahead and write your word. Zap. Oh, I could just write zap down here? Correct. Okay. Well, you have to put it on your paper and I'll do it this way. All right, perfect. So I'm going to write the word zap four times. Okay. Okay. So z a p. Z a p. Z a p. And should we put an exclamation? Yes, because it's exciting. Oh. Yeah, it is exciting. And we have to write it another time, right? Yep, so that's one. Here's two. A, P, exclamation point. All right, here comes number three. Z, A, P, exclamation point. And one okay. more. Z, A, P, exclamation point. 
question point. Excellent. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my scissors. And I'm going to put my thing. Oh, yes. Did you hear my click, Mrs. Garlack? I did. Oh, that's my favorite sure. sound. It's my favorite sound. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my fingers in the bottom and my thumb on top and go chomp, chomp, chomp. And I'm going right. to put in between the lines of my numbers. I have one strip cut out and I'm going to cut these numbers apart. And after I cut them apart, what should I do with them, Mrs. Nelson? Just we're put them in the pile? fold them in half. Oh, fold them. Okay. So we're going to fold them in half. And you're going to put them in your bag or in your bowl. Okay. We're going to put them in your bag or in your bowl. Perfect. Nice. So I have another strip. Awesome. And I'm going to cut them apart. Perfect. Perfect. Fold them. Fold them. Fold them. Fold them. Fold them. We're folding them in another Mrs. Garlock. I like it. Now I got to cut these apart. Lots of cutting and lots of folding. Good practice for our little fingers. Yeah. And now I have to cut my zaps apart, right, Mrs. Nelson? Correct. You're going to do the exact same thing, Mrs. Garlic. So there's my zap all together on one page. Yes. I don't want to cut the letters apart. I want to cut the words apart. Here's my word, full. Yep. We don't want to cut the letters apart, just the words. I'll fold them and I'll fold them. Okay. All right. I'm I mix them up. I'm gonna cut, Garlock. I'm gonna mix mine up while you're finishing cutting yours. Hey, Mrs. Garlock. They're you all... know the best thing about this game is you can play by yourself, or you could play with someone, just like we're doing. Oh, good idea. So if my mom and dad were busy, or my sister or brother were busy, I could do this and just play by myself. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah. Or I could play with my family if they were available. Right. All right. So I have okay. mine in my bowl and I'm mixing okay. them up. All right. And then what we do is we get to draw out one of the pieces of paper out. Okay. And if you know the number, you get to keep it. But if you don't know it, no big deal. You just have to put it back in so you can get some extra practice. But if you okay. get zapped, Mrs. Garlock, you have to put the, any cards that you have with the numbers on them back inside of your bag along with the word zap. Okay, okay. Um, Mrs. Nelson, since this is your game, it was your idea to play this game, why don't you go first? Okay, all right, sounds good. So I'm gonna pick a number. All right, and open it up. Mrs. Garlock, I have the number eight. Make an S and close it Ooh. eight to form the number eight. Nice job, eight. Yeah, eight. My fingers weren't working. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, eight. Okay. This is the number 10. Yes. And it's, guess what? It's a decade number. Good for you. The decade number. It ends with a zero. 10. Okay. I'm going to leave it right out there in a little right. pile. Here is mine. I have the number one. Ooh, one. Nice job, Miss Nelson. Okay. I'm going to go next. Oh. Zero. Doesn't None. have any. Nope. Okay, your turn. All right. I have the number six. Hmm. Miss Nelson, I don't think that's the number six. That looks like make a circle, then a line. It looks like the number nine. Oh, I always get that one mixed up, Mrs. Garlock. Well, look, nine and six kind of look alike, but that's yeah. the number nine. But no right. worries. All right, I'm gonna practice that one again, so I'm gonna put it back in my bowl. Okay. All right. All right, I'm gonna keep drawing from my bag. Okay. Oh, zap. zap. You know what you get to do? You get to put all of your numbers, including zap, back in your bag. 
So I had the zero that I had and I had the 10 and the zap. So I have to fold them back up and they go back into my bag and I'll shake them up again. Yep. All right. Okay. All right. I have the number five. Oh, five. One, two, nice three, job. Four, five. Nice job. My turn. Oh. I picked the number zero again. <laughs> That's okay. I know this number zero. I'm going to put it in my pile. All right. Oh, look what I picked. I picked zap. So I'm uh -oh. going to take my numbers five and one and eight and all fold them in half and put them back inside my bucket. My bowl. Nice job. Okay, my turn. Zap. zap again, zap again. So my zero that I had out and my zap have to go back into my bag. Yes, they do. But that's, okay. that's okay. All right, let's try one more, Mrs. Garlock. Oh, look at I got zap and I don't even have any, so I can put it back in. Uh oh. Okay, my last time. Let's see here. Oh, I have the number eight. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A five and three more. I have eight. So, Mrs. Nelson, you can keep playing this as long as you want to, right? You're right. You can. You can keep going and going and going. Or even if it's a short game, it's okay, too. But you still get some number practice. For sure. What happens if I want to, I only, we did the numbers zero through ten. What happens if I want to have some practice with the larger numbers, like those tricky teens, 11, oh, 12, 13, yes. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. What about all those? What it can is I do? It's such a great idea to do the tricky teen numbers. You can write your tricky teens just like we did the 0 to 10. You could write the 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19 on the piece of paper and then write some zaps and then cut them out and do the same thing. So when I'm playing, I want to try to get to recognize the number and keep it out of my bag. I want to try to, or my bowl, I want to try to get as many numbers out of here and try to avoid getting zapped, right? Right, right. But that makes me fun. put my numbers back in. It is fun. Right. So if you are playing with someone though, like Mrs. Garlock, if we were together and we would have the same bowl or bag, we would be picking out of the same bag or bowl. And sure. then you would have, so you'd be sharing and taking turns. Isn't that also a great skill? I love to share. I like to share too. And I like to take turns and we could take, take turns even when we're playing virtually. It was right. my turn and then I had to wait a little bit, wait, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then it was your turn. Right. Yeah. Very fun. Yeah. Very fun. Great. I'm so excited that you called and invited me to play your Zap game today. Thank it you. Was, it was so nice to see you. I'm so glad you came to join me. I miss you, Mrs. Nelson. I miss you too. Well, I'm going to say hi to all of my friends. So I hope they have fun with Zap and all of your friends and all the 4K friends as well. And I'd like to say hello to my class and all of the other 4K families and students that watched us play today. I hope you had a great time. We sure did. We did. I hope they love Zap as much as we do. Me too. All okay, right. Mrs. Nelson, go out and enjoy some sunny weather. Perfect. You as well, Mrs. Garlock. Bye. See you next time. Mwah.